Finley's next mayor could be decided in tomorrow's primary. Incumbent Mayor Christina Mern faces only one Republican candidate for a spot on the November ballot. John Monk talked to both. Mayor Christina Mern said there was no hesitation in her re-election bid for Finley mayor. She says under her leadership, she has secured millions of public dollars for local infrastructure, helped bring in new employers, and has begun to plan for more housing in the Finley area for families. She says now is not the time for the community to take the foot off the pedal of progress. We have made significant strides in bringing more housing to town, which we need to continue to do. We secured the final $30 million for flood mitigation and have those projects slated to really move forward over the next couple of years and keep that as a top priority. I think that our local government has not been truth and transparent with the people, which is one of the reasons that I am running. Haiti Sadler, who voted for Mern in 2019, says she feels the current mayor has compromised her conservative values. Sadler says if elected, she will focus on the opioid crisis, ensure individuals' medical freedom, fight back against eminent domain issues, and protect the community from illegal immigrants. She says the current top-down government does not have the interest of Finley residents at heart. They're using globalist companies to do this. They're building back better. They're ignoring the voice of the people. Um, they're doing this Democratic agenda in a Republican uh, town and in a Republican city. And that is cause for major concern, ignoring the people, doing what they want. There are currently no Democratic candidates. And as of Monday afternoon, only one write-in independent candidate, Jeffrey Simon, has filed for the November mayoral ballot. You can find a link to both the Republican primary mayoral candidates website on our website or news app. Reporting from Finley, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.